One of the things that I love the most about art and media like video games and movies is how simply being in their presence can quickly change your life. I'm sure we can all think of one or several pieces of art that were transformative in your life. I've already talked about one of those series for me, and that is Pokemon, a franchise I grew up with from the ripe age of four when I picked up this old Japanese Pokemon card from my mom's library. Tr true story. But around the age of 18, my feelings for Pokemon started to waver a bit, and this is frankly the first instance of video game burnout I had ever experienced. A phenomenon that seems more prevalent every day with people on YouTube. It's hard to even search this dang website without seeing a thumbnail about quitting video games or even another hobby that's turned into what feels like a chore or a job for some people. For ranking news, everyone is burned out and sad. But during the time period right before I entered the world of university, I all but solved this weird form of mental exhaustion. Some might even call me a guru in that field of keeping your hobby fresh, but I consider myself a humble mortal on this lovely planet. But the thing that changed wasn't for me to just stop playing games like some people suggest, which full disclosure might be the right solution for you, but for me my true awakening started when I played Fire Emblem on the 3DS for the very first time. I really didn't know what I was getting into at the time, and honestly, I kind of bought it on a whim. And before this, doing things on a whim are usually what got me in the most trouble. But in the two weeks before I went to college, I played through the entire game twice. I, yeah, I was playing this game so much, it probably strained my relationship with my mother in that very specific time period. But I think what drew me in was just the beautiful character designs, the world, the story, and of course the addictive, most crack-induced gameplay of all time, for me at least. So basically this game was my everything bagel, only it didn't taste like shit. But the game engaged a primal neuron in my brain that felt inactive for a very long time. I wasn't mindlessly grinding Pokemon and playing through games which, with honestly pretty lackluster stories and childlike characters that were becoming much more unrelatable to me as a now elder teen. The characters in Fire Emblem were edgy and cool, they were buff as hell, and they were actually partially voiced with wonderful voice acting. You know what I'm talking about, it's the line, here we go. Pick a god and pray. And for me, this game really renewed my interest in video games and came at the perfect time. Around this time you go into college and are thrust into the throes of the working world, I think a lot of us go through a lot of monumental changes. One of the biggest being you probably have to make an entire new friend group since your tight-knit group from your adolescence and teens has been scattered across the world, even if you yourself are not so far away. Which is a little ironic considering Pokemon is supposed to be a series all about leaving the nest and trying new things, but I, I guess I just didn't get the message. I think during high school I got pretty comfortable and complacent and had never really challenged myself very much. Playing this little strategy game on the 3DS reminded me that you really need to keep trying new things, form your own opinions, and rethink things you, that you previously judged. And I don't think I would have been as open to a game with a more anime art style if it wasn't for Fire Emblem. Which, frankly, brings me to another transition. While I had watched anime before Fire Emblem, I was still kind of judgmental of it due to a friend group I had in high school. And now as a free college student, I was open to lean into my weeb tendencies and explore the wonderful world of anime. I have since watched over 200 different types of anime, including the entirety of One Piece. It's really hard to reflect on these times as they're happening. I mean, it has taken me 10 years to realize how one simple click on Amazon could change so much for me. <laughs> and now I probably click way too much on Amazon. And maybe that's actually Fire Emblem's fault. So maybe I should be blaming this game for my lackluster bank account. After playing Fire Emblem Awakening s several times, I needed something more. And like a 40-year-old divorced dad in a midlife crisis on a trip to Vegas, I started hunting for my next fix of another Fire Emblem game. And well, if you know anything about old Fire Emblem games, you know they're expensive. Which brought me into a whole new world of emulation. I had dabbled a bit with Pokemon ROM hacks, but my quest to play the rest of the Fire Emblem series is what really allowed me to dig deep into this gray area of the internet. This is also when I learned that downloading ROMs was technically illegal, but 
hey, the price of Path of Radiance in the resale market should be considered a crime. And it has had no re-release since then. So I, I think it's fair game. But there is one problem I have found with obsessing over the same series, and that's eventually you do run out of games to play, or you just need a break. And before this, I don't think I really understood that. I just kept playing Pokemon games over and over and over again because I was the Pokemon fan. But where does this leave a confused college student with zero dollars? Marijuana? Well, I did the only thing we can do when we're lost and I, I searched YouTube for more games to play like Fire Emblem. And now the game I ended up playing because of this wasn't really like Fire Emblem that much, but it did end up becoming my favorite game of all time. And that of course, is Xenoblade Chronicles. While Fire Emblem might be my favorite series of all time, Xenoblade is without a doubt my favorite GAME of all time. To this day, I even get emotional listening to the menu theme music. It's just so beautiful to me. And looking at the comment section, I know I'm not the only one. And again, this whole chain reaction really started when on a whim, I decided to play Fire Emblem Waking at a time I was considering if I should even play video games at all anymore. I didn't even know if I was going to continue playing Pokemon, the series that really I feel made me in a lot of ways. Now that I am older, I find that every once in a while I just need to try something different. Sometimes that's in the form of a new hobby, like making YouTube videos, but for the past 10 years or so, I have gone through many of these cycles. Playing too many JRPGs, well, maybe I need to give a Western-style game a chance, which led to me playing and loving the Witcher series. Action games feeling too easy now? Well, sounds like I need to give that Bloodborne game a try, and now I've played every single Souls-like game except Dark Souls 2. And most recently, I don't like playing games on PC, but this Baldur's Gate 3 game is getting so much praise and looks absolutely excellent. These cycles have opened my eyes to dozens of fun hidden indie games or just entire new game genres. But there's still something special about that strategy series with anime characters that I just love so much. To this day, Awakening is pretty much the only game I can go back to and play and it will cure whatever depressing mood I am in. It brings me so much joy to just move around my little anime chess pieces even in the saddest of times. It can transport me to a world where nothing else really matters, except for me, my 3DS, and romancing Tharja, of course. This was also the last time I could just sit on a couch in my parents' house and play through an entire video game. This was the last game I played before I became an adult living in a different place I now called home. This is a bit of a tangent, but I do want to stress that you never know when you try something new how it'll affect you, and now I have this intense amount of nostalgia for this one game and that time period. I also have this bit of hope that every time I go outside my comfort zone that this could be the next big thing that really changes my life. That rarely actually ever happens, but it's still good to have that hope. And I hope that making this video helps at least one person out there remember that hobbies are supposed to be fun. And maybe your Fire Emblem Awakening is just one small leap over into a new space. Given the thumbnails I have seen on a lot of YouTube videos lately that I've been recommended. I think a lot of us have gone through something similar or are going through something similar now, where we're just burned out on different media. And from there, I think there's only a couple of options. You could just stop playing games altogether and get a life. And now this advice might work actually kind of well if you're in a constant spiral of playing League of Legends for 12 hours a day or ruthlessly addicted to some other game, but I don't think this is going to solve all your life's problems. And a couple years ago, I started to feel this burnout as well, playing some mobile games while working a kind of boring job. And I would just get somewhat annoyed at this stupid gotcha game and its weird systems that I, that's when I realized this is not actually fun. And part of the reason isn't just because this game's an endless time sink, but it's also because of this job. And now I have this more fulfilling job that allows me to punish myself in different ways, like playing Souls games. But I think the more healthy way to think about this is just to go through a small break of gaming or some use of that time to reflect on new ways you can make it fresh like I did with Awakening and kind of like I'm trying to do now again with this channel. Taking a little bit of extra time to reflect on games has made each one feel just a little bit more special to me. You don't have to make videos, of course, but just thinking about games just a little bit more past, is this a 1 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10? I 
think can really help. And personally, I'm pretty engineered brains, so I like to think of things in numbers. But this new outlook has really helped me personally understand what I actually like about video games. And that's that they're, they are a piece of art. Because if there is a game that you really enjoy, I can guarantee you there's another reason that you like it other than, well, the gameplay is really good and I like it. It could be that it's just your only way of to really connect with an old friend far away, or it reminds you of a simpler time when games weren't filled with the microtransactions and literally ads just right in the game as they are now. Or it could just be a game that you play on a whim at the right time when you truly needed something to dive into before you go into one of the most unforeseeable times of your life. Anyway, that's it. I hope you really enjoyed this video and please like if you did. Maybe this is my soft launch for talking more about Fire Emblem games. Maybe I'll just make more like this or actually make a video of why Fire Emblem Awakening is just so badass. It's my favorite game and this was originally supposed to be only about Awakening and it turned into something completely different. So again, hope this helps someone out there, but we're all so different and maybe the correct way to combat burnout for you is to join a lobster worshiping cult. I don't know. Anyways, get out of, get out of here.